The reality is, over a large number of years, defence has been salami sliced. And if one goes back to 2010, the coalition uh, defence review cut our military by a third. I don't think most people in Britain really hoisted that in. So to cut your military by a third is quite a statement. And there's no doubt since then as well, there has been further cuts and salami slicing. I was delighted in the spending review of two years ago that the government actually added some money back for a change, but that wasn't increasing money for defence. It was filling lots of gaps that were already there. Um, and there's no doubt that people like Putin and uh, autocrats like that, they keep an eye on what other countries do. And Putin must have looked at uh, the defence spending in Europe, and uh, particularly in Europe, in some countries there, but also in UK, and thought, these people aren't serious. They don't, they're not actually willing to fight, and they're not going to be able to fight. And that's why it's very dangerous to keep cutting defence spending. And what I find really extraordinary at the moment is we have a war in Europe uh, and there is a possibility of a world war. And yet the government still has not added any spending to defence in the near term. There are shortfalls in stock holdings. There are shortfalls in maintenance of equipment, which is not ready. Um, there, there are shortages in numbers. All of these things need to be addressed, and they should have been being addressed as soon as we became apparent there was a war in Europe some months ago, and that just hasn't happened. Saying that we're going to increase our defence spending to 2.5% by the end of the decade, well, that, I'm always delighted when people realise you need to spend more, but that's not solving the current problem. And I'm shocked when you find the Chief of Defence Staff talks of our ability to field an armoured division uh, which is fully uh, fully stored and has got all its maintenance done, is able to take on a, a peer uh, competitor, um, that won't be until the 2030s. There's talk of number of ships, and they say, oh, the number of ships in the Navy is increasing. It's not. It's falling. Uh, as of early last week, we had 17 major warships operational in our Navy, once the greatest Navy in the world, which is dreadful. And they're not going to be able in add to numbers or increase them, probably until the 2030s. Now, that's fine if the person you're fighting says, let's wait till the UK has got all its forces sorted out in the 2030s, but that's not what the real world is like. So I find it very worrying.